Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. I'm here at ICMA 2023 and I'm here at the AJP stand. Uh, so I'm here really to have a look at the PR7 again. I know I had a look at them last year. Uh, but I think since I've got my Code 450, that's one of the bikes that people have compared it to the most from this sort of lightweight adventure bike unicorn. So I'll show you what they have on the stand here at AJP. So then, here we have it. This is the AGP PR7, if you haven't seen one before. It's based around this uh, 650 single. Um, they have been around for a while, but they do still seem to keep cropping up. Um, they did have some challenges with supply during COVID, as everybody did. And actually, in the UK, one of the problems is getting, uh, is getting one from a dealer. Uh, but as you can see, it's a beautifully made motorcycle. You know, lots of really nice touches, like that little fuel cap, um, you know, the red frame underneath there you know the domino grips and then in particular this sort of super large uh, tablet which works as the dash um, and there's a tiny little speedo dash down there as well but most of the things are done through that if i come around the front i mean it looks like a rally bike pretty much as it comes with that sort of tall and sort of curved left and right uh, windscreen and those two lights in the middle a new one for me that i haven't seen before is the same bike in yellow so this is with uh, this is the pr7 gold edition and I think it's yellow for a few reasons. So firstly, it's got those lovely gold rims. It has, I can see the sort of the suspension linkage under there. And if you see in there, you can just about see a little bit of yellow of an Olin's rear shock. And more importantly, up front, it has these beautiful Olin's, uh, Olin's forks. Um, yeah, it, it's a very striking bike. Um, I think, you know, the suspension on these bikes is sometimes where compromises have to be made on, on any bike, you know, not specifically uh, an AJP. But it's nice to see they've pulled out the stops and actually done this, this gold edition uh, that has that on there, uh, which does look, look very cool indeed. I think the rest of it looks quite similar. Uh, I mean, there's a few details like the gold stitching along the seat, uh, up and over there, uh, and those top caps on those Olin's forks, and then the big tablet, same as the other one. So it is quite a small stand here at AJP, but I'll show you the other bikes. So here they have their SPR 310R Enduro bike. Uh, again, looks really nicely made. Uh, it's got that two into one uh, exhaust uh, on there. There's lots of really sort of quite high quality parts, nice little touches like the replaceable end to the brake pedal, those big wide mud shedding pegs. Uh, come up here you can see it's got the, the, the rear fuel tank, uh, the battery is very easily accessible in there on the right hand side and yeah just really really nicely done you know there's anodized rear hubs, the Brembo brakes, the, the GPR exhaust, yeah, just really, really nice looking motorcycles. I know, I'm sure I say that about a lot of them. And in, in my defense, uh, I think they are. I think a lot of these motorbikes do look really good. Uh, little touches like, actually, I know that looks maybe a little bit uh, simple, but look how easy it is to remove the headlamp if you needed to get to the wiring behind there. It's just on some, some bracket and some rubber, rubber mounts. Um, and again, if you wanted to run wires down there or do anything else with it, just for ease of maintenance and to get to things, it just saves time with, with taking things apart. Here we have another one, which is the SPR240X. Uh, I'm not going into a lot of detail on these, just simply because uh, there is a lot, and I think these things can probably be found uh, on the internet if required. But again, looks really nice, looks really, looks really thin, really simple, uh, easy to access, easy to maintain. Uh, I'm guessing this one is air-cooled, and uh, yeah, very, very small and simple dash in there. NJP also have a very smiley, happy-looking e-bike called a Full Gora, I think. Um, yeah, it's got a big smiley happy face on it, a slightly funny looking seat, uh, re rear wheel down there. Now I think this is an 8 kilowatt uh, electric motorcycle and yeah, certainly looks like something different. And just to finish off this side here we have the uh, 125 Supermotar, the SPR. Again very similar to the uh, Enduro bikes but just with the Supermotard setup on it. So that's the wheels predominantly and I think maybe uh, bigger brakes. Not entirely sure about that, certainly the bigger wheels. And last but by no means least, here we have the SPR250, uh, which is, again, cracking looking bike. Comes with that GPR exhaust, Brembo brakes. Very, very easy to work on, very, very accessible. Nice to see they have a big sign for the air filter underneath there, so it's both easy to replace and easy to keep dry and clear of mud. So that is it. That is my very short video here from the AJP stand at ICMA 2023. Really like the look of this PR7 uh, Gold Edition over my shoulder. Uh, but yeah, really interesting to see the bikes they have here. And it's mostly an enduro, a bit of super motard uh, and the electric concept. So I hope that's been interesting and useful. And if it has, please check out my other content from the show and maybe I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.